Alright guys, welcome back to Resident Evil 5. No announcer this time, I know, spooky isn't it? That's because I plan to start off this video with something a little bit different than I've been doing in the previous sets of videos, and considering that the majority of you are watching Resident Evil 5, then this is very likely new to you, and if that's the case for you, then I'll briefly run it down. What I've done is type up the text from the instruction manual, and I've put it through a website called gizoogle.net, and what it does is take any text that you put into it, or any website that you search up through it, and it translates it into something that Snoop Dogg might say. This is about as funny as you might expect. What you'll be seeing now is the original manual's text on the left side of the screen, and the result of me putting that text through Gazoogle on the right. I'm going to be reading the one on the right side of the screen, and I feel it's worth noting that this is from the limited edition Xbox 360 version manual of the game, so I don't know if it's different between platforms or between versions. I'm assuming it's not, but just in case, there you go. I've got the limited edition on 360, so that's the one that I typed out. Without further ado, let's get started. 2009 Africa. A hoopty moves across the ever-stretching roads of the African continent. The hoopty stops somewhere within the Kajuju Autonomous Region, and a lone thug figure steps up, yo. His name is Chris Redfield. As Chris looks around, a biatch approaches his motherfucking ass. Yo, what's crack a biatch? Yo ass is smoking Africa, yo. Hoes call me Sheva Alamar. Chris shakes her hand, knowing that the thug will now got a partner on this mission. Chris has lost enough players during countless missions, right back up in your motherfucking ass. Sometimes he finds his dirty ass asking, be all that shit isn't it worth fighting for, biatch? It's not a question he knows the answer to. What the roughneck do know is that that schmoove motherfucker has been given a mission, and he's going to carry it out. I'm on an underground mission, and I'm going to peep it through. Thank you all for listening, and now back to normality. Alright, well I certainly hope you guys enjoyed listening to that as much as I did saying it. Believe me, it was fun. And I even skipped the announcer. I mean, I don't even want to make audio editing easier for myself later on. Screw that. So, hopefully... Uh, three, two. Execution grounds. I just looked at the name. Yeah, this is going to go so much better than 3-1 did, I can already tell. Alright, now where was I up to? Uh, this looks vaguely familiar. I'll sell... Ooh, 10 grand. Excellent. This will go well into funding my rifle spending money thing. Word I can't think of right now. I've been awake for like an hour. Leave me alone. Yeah, 15 shots. Why not? Uh, come on. Let me out. I'll put you away. You're useless. Come on. Nah, I'll put you away too. I'll put you away. I'll put you away. You don't need that much shotgun ammo. There's probably no real reason for me to change the weapon setup like that, it just is an AI. But, I don't know, it looks a bit neater. I'm sure you guys are familiar with how neat I am in video games, it really works well. And if you could see me shaking my head right now. I think that just about does it. I should probably put this away too. Yeah, throw that away. Okay, I believe, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. All right, let's do it. Okay, so far so good. 10 seconds into the level, and I've picked up three items. Oh, crap. This is promising. Alright, I usually stand up here and snipe while I get my unfortunate co-op partner to do the heavy lifting down below. So hopefully I'll be able to do the same thing here. If this guy would die... There we go. Oh, you think you're clever? Because you wear a clay thing on your head? Also, thank you, Sheva. I didn't acknowledge that until now. Um, hmm. No, stop it. All 
All right, this should be relatively easy breezy. I believe I see someone. Yes, hello, sir. At least do that in one hit. You're nice and cooperative. My first miss. No. Oh, no, no, no. Gotcha that time. Oh, you're about to fire again despite not having a head. Would have had to file a complaint. You would have been kicked from this server. IP banned everything. Now, I don't think there's anything behind me. Nope, we're good. Alright, uh, I should probably get into the habit of giving Sheva the machine gun ammo, don't you think? And in case you're wondering, later on in the game, I'm gonna grab the Lightning Hawk. So that. Alright then. That's part of the reason that I got rid of the Magnum that I already had. So I prefer the Lightning Hawk. Alright, music is still going, so I presume that there's still more to kill. Never mind. Right as I say that. And now it's back again. Okay, music, just do what you want. Huh, I got it. You suck. I'm just kidding, have it. Should have a cover me while I snipe everybody from a safe position. Which this time is right next to you, but we're counting the last time too. Oh, nice jump. Nice twirl. Nice death. Nice. Every, yeah, everything about you is nice. Except that. That's rather unpleasant. I'm just gonna shoot that down. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna shoot... I'm eventually gonna shoot you down. That was probably not even me. Thank you, Sheva. I'm gonna break the shield thing, because I can. Yep. I, I just did that because I could. There was no rhyme or reason behind it. Just feeling destructive. Is it really necessary to kick that button? Jerk. Haha. <laughs> wow. Shot that guy in the head through the other guy's arm. What's going on over there? Shiver, shiver, shiver. Stop, stop, stop. Cease and desist. About face. God damn it. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. What do you mean I should have packed a shotgun? No, oh, didn't need it. Okay, so if I remember this layout right... Yeah, we've got to go over there. Uh, I know what you guys want me to do. And I'm going to do it, because I'm just that nice. So, what opens? Locked from the other side. Always is. It's almost like you've never been in a Resident Evil game before, Chris. Everything's locked from the other side, or has like a key, no, not a key, a lock with a funny symbol right above it or something. Um, go to the fucking crank, you- oh my god, do I have to do everything? Is there a way to get her to- get- to, to, mm. See, it's been a while since I've played Resident Evil 5 solo. And if I remember correctly, which I probably don't, you guys know me that well, then I think I can give her a B button or an X button command on the crank. Shiver. Okay, get on the raft, and I'll turn the crank. No, nope, I can only. Oh God, this is gonna go poorly. No, I, I think okay, that the I. I want to turn the crank. I'm the big muscly one. Shiver. Roger. I'm, 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 I'm. And I'll turn the crank. Oh, you're not. I hate. Screw you. You just want me to die, like everybody watching this. You're all mean. Okay, well, at least I remember that all the quick time events on here are the triggers. Don't even talk to me, young lady. Okay, maybe it's not the triggers. Actually, almost caught me. I hit the triggers out of reflex. 
Then I actually looked at the prompt. Come on. I know you're going to do it again. Nope. And then at the very end, there's two in quick succession. Wait for it. There's one. And... Okay, never mind. I lied. Woohoo. So long, suckers. I'm just looking around waiting for something else to happen, but nothing's happening. I'm expecting another attack, but I think I got through the whole area without taking a hit. Booyah. I am your lord and savior. Bow down before me. Checkpoint. If I remember correctly, there is a gem in this. I was correct. Yay. A pear-shaped ruby. I don't think there's one in this one. Okay, never mind. I saw the glow. There is. Shows what I know. Is this a sapphire? That looked like a diamond. Oh. Ooh, this part's fun. I've been bitten by so many snakes here. It's like living in Australia all over again. Le gasp. No. Oh. See, I know that there's snakes in here, but snakes means that I can get eggs. Also, I will grab that. I don't remember exactly where the snakes are. Found one. Actually startled me too, you little bastard. Eh. If I just run along like that... Okay, no, doesn't... Alright. I'm just glad they're not poisonous. I remember the Resident Evil 1 Yawn boss fight. That was not fun. BSAA emblem here. Sprout. Shit, didn't want to... I pressed it in the wrong order. Or rather, I pressed them too fast. And it's like, you want to find it, Sheva? And I'm like, no, I want to pull out my knife. Game. You know, use the first aid spray to heal up that snake bite. Ah. Brown egg. So I think we've got... Uh, the only one I'm missing is a rotten. Yeah, you take that brown egg. You might need it. You dummy. Mmm, that salmonella. Alright. Ooh. I'm always pleased and excited when I find stuff to break in a video game. It's great. Every time I play any game ever where I can break a window or something like that, or open a door or a drawer and leave it open, like something like Amnesia, I leave all the doors open, I break all the windows, not getting away this time. I just leave, I leave all the drawers open and everything. I just make the place look like as much of a shithole as possible to indicate to myself that I've already been there. It's pretty effective. I, uh, my confidence levels have suddenly dropped, because I remember what's here. If only we could get through this area fast and catch him. Oh. We're, we're getting started. Alright, fair enough. Anybody else that I can see? Don't see anyone else. No doubt more of them will spawn when I jump down. Uh, Sheva, I require this. Okay. Uh, calling for Papa Kool-Aid. We must retaliate. Whoa. Alright, this is all in order. I don't want to get comfortable yet, in case that happens. Um, I think it's worth it. Die. Where you going, coward? Get back here. Take your lumps. Stop playing ring around that- No! That's not cool. Yeah. Oh. 
I think I can get him through there. Oh. Well, alright. Nicely done, Shadow. I am sorry I doubted you. I'll just take all the ammo that you need. I'm sure you won't mind. Who, who did that? You. You're. Oh, Shevet, you fuck everything up. Stop it. Look, I'm trying to. Oh, well, that's not helpful either. Nobody's cooperating with me today. This sucks. Oh, he's gonna jump down. Great. I miss the Resident Evil 4 mechanic of shoot them in the plaga with a rifle and they instantly. Yeah, alright, fine. Just take that medium range shotgun shot for the kill. Game just doesn't like me today. Definitely must be what's going on. Okay. Now, oh, you're the bad one. I don't remember the layout of this area at all, so I'm going to get completely lost here. I, I just did a circle. Oh, wait. This is where I'm supposed to go. I knew that. Whew. Nice save, me. You can take that. I'll combine these even though I don't like to. I didn't want to press that. I pressed B too many times. Oh. Alright, cool. Works for me. Turn the crank with your muscles. Oh, those guys were just behind there the whole time, were they? I don't know about you guys, but I think that was a pretty awesome throw. What do you do? Oh, alright. Okay, that works for me. Hang on, wait. Give us a second. Thank you, sir. Why do I keep picking that up? Stop it. Tanks. Tanks. Could use some tanks. Seriously, why are we sending in a one-man army? Oh, two-person army. Don't answer that, it'd be less fun. Okay, I think I remember what happens here. Uh. Oh, fuck it, let's do it. Okay, that's not as bad as I was thinking. I thought he might jump down from above me. But this is still terrible, but I can deal. I- oh, fucking hell. Ah, oh, crap, I missed his head. That's okay, I think we can get around that. Hello, sir. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. What did I tell you to not do? And you went ahead and did it. And Shepard's head isn't even... Mm -hmm. 